with our masters for Wing Chun uh, Kung Fu. This is Sifu Chris and Sifu George. So, I would love to learn this year uh, basic self-defense for me. And I'm doing research and there is uh, Wing Chun, Krav Maga, Karate. And so I would like to know what is actually Wing Chun, what we can bring to me, what I can learn like a woman and other. So what is the Wing Chun? Uh, Wing Chun is a traditional Chinese martial art. It is um, almost 500 years old and okay. developed by a woman. It is uh, more scientific and very, very effective to strip the fans, uh, to protect yourself. It's, uh, it's not very hard and not very easy to learn. It's simple, simple, very simple, very effective. It doesn't need the power or something special skills to do it. Okay. So like uh, all ages, uh, even just a uh, 60 years old uh, person can learn, it doesn't have to be fit. Uh, it's more it doesn't matter how old are you. Uh, even if you are a child or an old man, you can practice in Wing Chun. It's a safe uh, way to practice and learn self-defense. Because we say Wing Chun is like wine. When it gets older, it's better. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Get older, nice. Okay. Okay, so what is the relationship uh, this uh, Wing Chun Kung Fu with other Chinese uh, martial arts? The roots of uh, Wing Chun, you can find it in Shaolin Temple. Okay. So, five grandmasters uh, they want to build a, to develop a technique that uh, beat all the others without having a long time of training. So they put the five grandmasters, they are say, uh, five systems, combine and develop the wind tune. That's the rules and the... Okay, so if I understand, they try to put the five... Uh, five systems, five systems they put the best uh, strikes, the best punches, the best moves, the best okay. footwork in wind tune. So yeah. develop wind tune. Okay. Our basic principle wind tune, what should I know, basic principle? Wing Chun has some principles that develop uh, all the skills, all the uh, what the men or the women want to, uh, to practice, uh, to practice martial arts. It's uh, mostly that we are covering what we call in center line, that put our hands on, so we can uh, make uh, defense and offense at the same time. Uh, the other one is. Uh, but the most uh, martial arts have that you say when you have a hit you must block it. Which one believes that uh, when you have a hit the better way is not to be when you keep going. Uh, also he moving uh, one side that call it blind side of the outside of the body that is the better way so you can fight only one hand and not both of hands of your opponent. Uh, also that hit and pressure points that it means you don't uh, need it in or force, many force on the other, so you can uh, do it your self-defense in a very quick and short time. Other question, so what is our element being true compared to other martial arts? I believe that all martial arts have uh, benefits for the student, but we soon have benefits for shorter time. Shorter time, it's a scientific approach to self-defense. With the common sense, we can explain with the physics or maths how we step, how we move, how we block. Not, we don't uh, based on uh, brutal force or speed only. We use our mind a lot. Okay, I am kind of sensitive girl. Do I have to be aggressive to do being chan? The most important is that many people understand about uh, what martial arts is. Uh, I believe that all martial arts is aggressive. Uh, I think it is the, the men who are doing martial arts is what is aggressive or not. Uh, Wing Chun is a very aggressive system. That's why the body is very dependent on uh, your life. I mean, so you make a self-defense and self-defense always be aggressive. So of course if I will be attacked, it, uh, I will become very aggressive to protect myself. For uh, sure. See, Sometimes the people confuse uh, the mud of angry with uh, with aggressive. Aggressive it means in Wing Chun that you hit someone, you eliminate him. This is the safer way for you. For you. 
that's for him. See, someone want to attack you, want to make you something bad, worse for you. That's why you hit him, someone, some pressure point. So you eliminate him, so you don't have a problem, and you'll be safe. Okay for you. So I would love to learn this pressure point because I don't want to like break it or something. <laughs> Uh, pressure points is exactly not to, to break something, only to break something, see? Is a, a pressure points is your eyes, see? Or your throat. Is a is the points that you hit so you can uh, eliminate the other will not mean the brutal force, but you eliminate in a very short time. So you have a, a much, uh, much time for uh, to, to run away or to call for help or to be in a safer place than you've been before, uh, before the attack. Class, what should I expect? Uh, what, what I'm gonna do? What kind of training? At first, uh, we start with a light stretching, not too much. We don't uh, put the palms. Yeah. Or there is not like aerobic or fitness. So light, uh, light, light stretching. So we prepare our body. We do. We start with some drills. We train our reflexes. We train our eyes. Right. We train our footwork. And then we, we, we start to, to do techniques okay. against the round pants, against the straight pants, against the kicks, against the grappling, grappling, all the stuff. Okay, that's nice. What is important to find Wing Chun school? That I believe because, because I am practicing 38 years uh, martial arts. 38, all, 38, 38 years, yes, I do a, a lot of different uh, martial arts. Uh, the last uh, 70 years I practice in Wing Chun. I think the most important for someone to find the Wing Chun school or the other martial arts school is uh, to, to, to make a, a very good search about, uh, about the school, about the teacher that is in the, inside, especially in Wing Chun. That's if uh, certificated by someone you are already know. So someone uh, famous, because the Wing, Chun, uh, Wing Chun practitioners all over the world are very famous, like my grandmaster, William Chung. Okay. See, because he's a, he's a senior student, he's responsible in the beginning that was in training. In the near in Yukon Master. So I believe that everybody wants to know the background of the teacher, of the Sifu. They usually teach him Wing Chun. Because if you do not Wing Chun, somebody do not, do not know a very good yes. Wing Chun, probably he guides you to the wrong way. And do a lot of mistakes, and uh, these mistakes is not for because uh, you not be in fights or in the ring or make uh, uh, make some things about your life. And uh, if you do mistakes, this is cost your life.